Hi, I'm Ken. Congratulations on your new purchase. We're gonna go over a couple of things that you need to know about the coach. So we have up and down on the jack here. You also have power button. This is just for the light. This doesn't affect the actual function of the jack. If you need to manually retract the jack or extend it, you're gonna use this little guy here. Goes in here, down, and then you crank the jack. Put that on, make sure that's nice and tight. That way it's sealed so it's protected. Coming over here. This is where your crank handles are going to be. We're going to set this one here. You have a blue coiled hose and you have your crank handle for the actual jacks underneath. Okay. You're going to find a light switch inside here. Okay, that's going to be the front cap lights. And then you have a motion sensor light here. Now what you're going to see is a two and a one on those. The two is motion sensor. The one is just on all the time. Right here, you'll find your battery disconnect. Anytime you're storing a coach, you can pop that loose and drop it out. Or leave it on. You have city water connection here when you're using campground water. Over here you have your black tank flush. All right. Anytime you're using a black tank flush with your hose, you're going to want to need the black tank open because otherwise it's going to fill and pressurize. Come the whole way down the end of the coach here, we'll find your black tank and your gray tank. Down here, black handle, black tank, gray handle, gray tank. Right now they're both open. To close them, you're just going to push in. But remember, black tank flush this has to be open cap on for travel Your 30 amp supply here you're going to hook up there spray port this is where your blue coiled hose goes cold water only you have satellite and cable tv hookups out here this is where they end 